Ahoy mateys! Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join our family on day four of our Disney cruise vacation on the Disney Dream. For you guessed it, Pirate Night. This was our second stop on our five-day cruise in Cozumel, Mexico. Earlier on this day, we enjoyed an excursion into Cozumel at an all-inclusive resort called Paradise Beach. If you want to see our review of Paradise Beach or days one through three of the cruise, we've included those links below. Our kids were so excited for Pirate Night on the cruise, which starts in the evening with a pirate-themed dinner. People really go all out dressing up for Pirate Night, so we packed our pirate costumes and accessories to wear for this day. And Disney also provides all guests with a pirate bandana in your room. After dinner, you can go up to the pool deck for Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean show, a fun show and dance party where you learn how to be a pirate. Later at night, they have the Buccaneer Blast, which is an amazing show and fireworks display where they shoot off fireworks off the side of the ship. After the fireworks, you can also stick around for a club pirate dance party on the pool deck. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back to share in our family adventures. We hope you enjoy coming along with us today. We have Chip and Dale out here in their pirate costumes. We've got Pirate Donald up here. Oh, look at this. And we've got Pirate and Stitch. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I love Pirate Stitch. To go along with the pirate theme for the evening, they have a special dinner menu at the sit-down restaurants on Pirate Night. Our kids also got a special pirate activity sheet and menu options including a cream of chicken soup or garden salad, the carved beef sirloin, mac and cheese, cheese pizza, grilled chicken skewer or pasta, and the Buccaneers warm chocolate brownie with vanilla ice cream or Mickey bars for dessert. Appetizers included a vegetable samosa, marinated shrimp, crab cake, or a beetroot carpaccio. Soups and salads included the carrot cilantro soup, chilled mango soup, fennel orange and quinoa salad, or the baby gem salad. Courses included Jack's Treasure of the Seas with shrimp and scallops on a bed of pasta, the cilantro marinated Caribbean grouper filet, the jerk chicken, lamb shank, or King George's roasted privateer strip loin. They also had a variety of vegetarian as well as lighter note offerings. Dessert options included the Bounty Fruit Cobbler, Bananas in Paradise, the Rum Soaked Chocolate Cake, Pirate's Treasure Sundae, Caramel Macadamia Nut Cheesecake Tart, or the Coconut Cream Flan. So we all got, we all got the crab cake. Yeah. It's good. Steve recommended yep. the crab cake. So Steve we said all got try it. the crab cake. Good. 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 Good job. Oh, yes. Alright, this is Captain Jack's Treasures of the Sea. Oh no. So it includes some seared scallops. We have to move our clocks ahead of one hour tonight. As well as the we got some grilled shrimp. And the shrimp was butterflied and our server Steve was kind enough to pull them out of their shells for us so beautifully. <laughs> I was pulling it across the restaurant. <laughs> I'm going 
could be like pretty woman and you know trying to take it out and like fling it across and be like I wish I could have caught Steve doing that because he did it so, it awesome. so perfectly. So elegant. Yes. And we also have a bed of pasta down here, a little bit of spinach. He, he sprinkled some shaved parmesan on top. We've got some little cherry tomatoes as well. This looks delicious. So Dave got the rosemary lamb shake that is on the bone. Braised and red wine. Red wine. With butter, green beans, and parsnip mash. Parsnips. Okay. I bet that sauce is really good. It just so it just And it just he said it's just so tender, falls it just off falls the off the bone. Whoa. He was not joking. Is that good? So tender. The sauce is delicious. Yeah. It's the best lamb I've had. Cool. Nice. That's high praise. The parsnip is a tasty spice surprise. Why? It's very uh, parsnippy. I don't know. Parsnippy? <laughs> It was good together. Eat it together, yeah, with the sauce. By itself, though, it's like. Uh, yeah. It's very uh, kind of root vegetable kind of flavor. I don't know. It's, okay. Uh, yeah. Probably just goes goes pairs really nicely with the meat. This is the dark chocolate rum cake. This looks really good, and it's got a cute little Mickey dark chocolate. It does look like an X marks the spot. And then this is the signature dessert for the evening, the macadamia nut tart. And it's got some really cool plating too, with some macadamia nuts and the little chocolate pieces with the Mickey's. Really cool. Don't forget the coffee, Sam. And and coffee. Oh, Don't coffee forget to yes. Don't forget to get some coffee with your dessert. So what do you think of the rum cake, Dave? You just play Show us your you shirt. I'm not you might be the reason the rum is gone. That's why you went with the rum cake, right? Really good. It's extremely moist. I don't, I don't really get rum flavor from it. Though. No it's rum just, flavor? No, uh, it's just like a nice chocolate cake. Nice, nice moist chocolate cake. Yeah. Has a raspberry center? Yeah, for raspberries. Yeah. It adds a little, a little something to it. But. So the macadamia nut cheesecake is really good. That caramel on top though is really decadent. Very rich, but it's delicious. It makes it so good, but it's really thick caramel. And the little macadamia nuts are delicious. It's a good one, but rich. I'd like to say I took one for the team. I ate both desserts. <laughs> and I can honestly say I liked the... Macadamia that one. tart? That one was better. Huh? Rum cake was good though, Mike. I prefer the rum cake. So, both good choices, both good options. Both good, both good options. I want more rum. Dave just, Dave's just not happy if it's not soaked in rum. I want more rum. He wants more rum. You need a, a vial of rum on the side. Dave at the end of the day, Carmel. It's pirate night. Why is the rum gone? Well, not because they soaked the cake in it. <laughs> We're getting ready for Mickey's Pirates of the Caribbean party. We've got the kids section here in the middle. The kids are sitting down on the floor. And we've got the Pirates party that's about to begin. And the most fun bunch of pirates I know. Please welcome.
Good job. 
remember, dead men tell no tales. <laughs> night and it was pirate night what did we find on our bed a snake what or maybe a swan it looks like a swan <laughs> and what else pirate treasure coins these look like chocolate gold chocolate coins oh, they are chocolate oh chocolate treasure what did you guys think of pirate night it was amazing. It was super fun. Did you love it? And the fireworks were on the Oh, page. the fireworks were so good, weren't they? What was your favorite thing, Henry? Henry loves everything pirates. What was your favorite thing tonight, buddy? Everything. Everything. <laughs> so fun, right? And these coins say dead men tell no tales. They do? That's awesome. What was your favorite thing about Pirate Night, Dad? Oh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fun night. All right, and we get to end our night with some pirate chocolate gold. Mm -hmm. Henry's all about that. <laughs> all right, you want to say good night, everyone? Good night. Good night, everyone. You <laughs> say, what do we say? For, what do we, what's the pirate song we learned today? Yo, ho, yo, ho. A pirate's life for me. Arr. Arr.